So when I came into office, uh, we announced that we were going to take action. Uh, a lot of resources for, for Everglades and water quality. The legislature uh, responded. I'll sign the budget probably tomorrow or Monday. And, um, and that'll be uh, record funding uh, for all of those key areas, which is very important. So I want to thank them uh, for doing that. Uh, one of the things, though, specifically that we wanted to focus on was red tide. So today, uh, I'm proud to be here to sign Senate Bill 1552, which establishes the Florida Red Tide Mitigation and Technology Development Initiative. It's a partnership between the Fish and Wildlife Research Institute within FWC and Moat Marine Laboratory uh, will lead the development of the innovative technologies and approaches needed to control and mitigate red tide. The initiative will build upon the longtime partnership between FWRI and Moat in the area of red tide research. The bill provides $18 million uh, over the next six years to develop, test, and implement innovative, effective, and environmentally sustainable technologies and approaches for controlling and mitigating the impacts of red tide. When we were in Israel, I was talking to some of their researchers about red tide, so we're looking far and wide for whatever we can do. Now this 18 million is in addition to the more than 4.8 million for red tide research uh, that I requested um, to reestablish a center for red tide research within the FWC, so that's also in the budget. Um, we also in the budget have uh, 650,000 for our Department of Health to study the health effects of exposure to algal blooms and red tide, uh, which is obviously very important when you consider folks are coming in contact. So I think that this initiative combined with the new Center for Red Tide Research within FWC and the reestablishment of the Harmful Algal Bloom Task Force with the rene renewed focus on red tide, we will see tremendous progress towards solutions to control and mitigate this phenomenon.